Hey everyone, Andre Garcia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will go through the new updates on the Brewfest holiday for this year. Obviously this is the first time we get to experience this holiday through Dragonflight, as last year it was still Shadowlands during this time, so there is a lot of new stuff to delve into. But yeah, before I go ahead please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you like to see more content. It's completely free and it will mean the world to me, so without further ado let's jump right in. Alright, so Brewfest Fest for this year is running from 20th of September until October 6th. The Imbrufest grounds are taking place in the usual places, outside of Ironforge and Orgrimmar, but this time around we also get a new NPC in Valdraken. In all of these locations you can find activities to do and earn Brufest prize tokens, which can be used to buy various goodies, but more on that in a bit. In the capital cities the dailies are the same with previous years, but uh, with the only difference that this time around they do also give flystones. So if for whatever reason you somehow managed to run out of them, well yes, you can get some from the Brufus activities. The NPC I mentioned in the Dragon can be found near the Barber Shop, and it's called Bragdur Battle Brew. He offers two dailies, the first one is called Barreling Down, in which you'll have to hop on two rolling barrels through a dragon and deliver them to the artisan's market. Fun fact, there was a similar quest back in the Broken Shore of Legion, so it kinda brings back uh, memories seeing it again. All the good old Legion days. But anyways, the second quest is calling Bubbling Brews and it involves dragon riding. Honestly, I don't know what did you expect from a new quest which happens to be in Dragonflight, <laughs> but yeah, this quest you have to go through floating bubbles in the air and you need to do that in order to fill a barrel. Easy busy. Besides offering quests, Bragdur also serves as a Brewfest vendor, selling all the available rewards. And speaking of rewards, let's go over two brand new items you can get this year. One is the orange Brewfest Bulwark Shield, which is available for 200 tokens, and a new toy called Brew Barrel, worth 200 as well. Visually, it's the same barrel with the rolling ones um, from the quest I mentioned earlier. And of course the Brewfest event will not stay confined in Valdragon. Nope, as a matter of fact it actually goes into every corner of the Dragon Isles and specifically every tavern. Each zone has three taverns for a total of 12 and inside each tavern you can find a loot bar tab barrel. For visiting all 12 locations you'll get the achievement around on the house. So that's another shiny achievement for any Coblitionist collectors out there. As any previous Brewfest event, this seasonal boss happens to be Corrin Darbrow again, and upon defeating him you'll get a cake-shaped treasure chest. This, depending on your level, it can be either epic or a lesser quality reward. The epic version of this bug is given to level 60 characters and above. Thankfully, so that's the maximum level cap of the previous expansion. That said, if you have any Shadowlands alts, you can easily farm the boss in each character every day to have a bigger chance for the epic loot. Some possible rewards from the epic bag are the Great Brufus Kodo, the Swift Brufus Ram, yep, that's a total of two mounts, along with epic weapons, a teleport item, and a new special reward from this year is an armor customization for your Proto Drake. Basically, it's a Brufus themed saddle and it's only available for the renewed Proto Drake, not any other dragon riding Drake at the moment. But nonetheless, it's still very, very nice. And also, another thing with the addition of the trading pause, you can also get points from completing Brufus related activities. Just by killing Corrin, you earn 100 travel points and you can do many other activities. You can find them all in the holiday tab. That's of course for September trading post. We still have to see about next month and what possible activities we can do to earn some points fast. We do also have some other possible rewards from data mining, but uh, we yet have to see them in the actual game. There is a Brewfest themed back piece and a green shield. Most likely scenario is that they will be trading post rewards from October, but we have to wait and see. 
Honestly, if you didn't find any time to take part in the Brewfest festivities, don't worry, you have plenty of time until the event's gone. That's uh, almost two weeks uh, from now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all the new updates of the Brewfest 2023. And yeah, if you have any questions, pop them down in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching my content and drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!